Hello students, this is Chanda Ranjan from Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, the Oxford College of Pharmacy, Bangalore. Today I am going to discuss about the preparation of aspirin from salicylic acid. How aspirin is synthesized in the laboratory and how it is practical yield is calculated. The content, firstly I will discuss about the materials required followed by its principal procedure calculation and report. We need salicylic acid, acetic anhydride, concentrated sulfuric acid, and ethanol as the chemicals. We need apparatus, beaker, funnel, stirrer, and pipette. I also want to discuss here a brief introduction about salicylic acid. Salicylic acid contains OH, phenolic OH, and carboxylic group. Since OH is irritating to the stomach lining, it was replaced with acetyl group in aspirin so that its irritation gets reduced. And it resulted the formation of aspirin that is chemically 2-acetoxybenzoic acid. It is an effective analgesic, antipyretic and anti-inflammatory agent. It is one of the most widely used non-prescription drugs. Non-prescription drugs means you don't require a valid prescription and it is easily available in the chemist shop without prescription. This is the reaction involved in the synthesis of aspirin. Here, one mole of salicylic acid reacts with one mole of acetic anhydride in the presence of acid that is H2SO4 and results the formation of aspirin and as a byproduct acetic acid is formed. Salicylic acid reacts with acetic anhydride with the aid of the acidic condition which helps the acetate ion that is the CH3CO from the acetic anhydride to gets detached and gets attached to the oxygen that is the, to the oxygen after the release of H from the phenolic AH that forms acetic acid as a byproduct and the acetate ions attaches itself to the O part of the OH in the fin OH in salicylic acid. That is why it is also called as an esterification reaction, OCOCH3. Okay. The acetic acid that is formed as a byproduct is dissolved in water and is separated after the synthesis of aspirin gets completed. Since we take acetic anhydride in excess during the preparation of aspirin, so its removal is also necessary after the synthesis is completed. How it is removed? We add excess amount of water. It reacts with the acetic anhydride and gets converted to the acetic acid. This acetic acid is soluble in water and it is washed. This is the basic principle of aspirin synthesis. Procedure we'll discuss. We take first a beaker in that we add 10 gram of salicylic acid, 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and 14 ml of acetic anhydride. We put it on a water bath for half an hour and heat it. After heating, the mixture is poured into the cold water with occasional stirring. The, after some time, you can see that uh, the mixture has uh, formed a precipitate that I have shown in a yellow color. That yellow color aspirin, we need to filter. So here we have filtered it using the funnel in the conical flask. Once the crude aspirin we have filtered, we need to recrystallize it. After that, thus crude aspirin is dissolved in 30 ml of ethanol for the recrystallization and then 
for the recrystallization process it is again added to the warm water after the addition of the crude aspirin into the warm water it separate as a solid this solid we need to again filter so in the funnel what we get we get the aspirin and as in the conical flask it is the warm water this after filtration the what we get we get the crude aspirin that's melting point and its weight is taken how actually the aspirin looks it looks like a white crystalline solid it has the melting point of 136 degree celsius and boiling point of 140 degree celsius i also want to tell you how, why we calculate the melting point of the solid aspirin that we have synthesized in the lab it will tell you that does it contain any impurity if you are getting any fluctuation in the melting point suppose you got 130 or 125 melting point means certain impurities are there that is why its melting point is not exact that is reported in the literature so this is the basic idea why we take the melting point after taking the weight of the aspirin that we have prepared will follow to the calculation part in the calculation what we will do will first calculate the molecular weight of salicylic acid as well as aspirin salicylic weight is 138 gram aspirin is 180 grams its molecular weight we have seen in the reaction that 138 that one mole of salicylic acid has reacted with uh, one mole of acetic anhydride and has given one mole of aspirin so it is a mole to mole so 138 gram of salicylic acid is giving you 180 grams of aspirin so how much we have taken during the experiment we have taken 10 grams of salicylic acid so 10 grams of salicylic acid will give you how much of aspirin we will do the simple calculation that 118 to 10 divided by 138 that gives you 13.04 gram what is 13.04 gram it is your theoretical yield practical yield i have left it blank that you can fill when you perform this experiment in the lab and you will calculate the percentage yield that is calculated by practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 this will give you the practical yield that is how much of uh, aspirin you have synthesized and how much loss is was there i think now it is clear how the preparation of aspirin from salicylic acid is done thank you